Could you describe your memories of the Chinese in Tibet? In Tibet? Tibasuka yeah, he says, uh, I can remember very clearly when the Chinese first came into this, the place that, that, that where he lived. At that time, the Chinese came and they told uh, the Tibetans there that uh, we have come here uh, to help you, uh, to, give, uh, to give you more food, to give you more clothing. We have not come here to wage war or you know, create violence. So after they came for about one year, uh, like they said, uh, they were very good to them. They showed them uh, like movies and uh, they were very good to them for, for about at least one year. Were any of your family involved in the resistance against the Chinese? Uh, uh, not from his uh, family. Uh, when the Chinese first came to the place where he lived, uh, he was about 14 years of age at that time, and his parents were quite old, and his elder brother was in a monastery, he was a monk, so there was nobody in his family who was involved in the resistance. And when did you leave Tibet? So, what did you say? I was born in the United States, Tilichino uh, so he's going back to uh, the, he says that uh, he doesn't really remember but when he came back it should be about 1954 so what happened was after the Chinese came like they said they were good uh, they kept to their words for about one year they were good to that and then they started coming since they were nomads the Chinese started coming to their uh, place and asking started asking them how many cattle do you have how many male female how many sons do you have and they started all these sorts of things. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the Chinese came, they started asking, like I was telling, they started asking how many sons or daughters do you have, how many cattles, how many, from the cattles, how many, um, do you say, here, male or female, and then they started saying that, um, uh, they started taking a list and they said that you can't kill any more of the cattles. And you have sons and daughters, you can't let them stay here, you have to send all this, all of them to China.
buildings. He also said that the Chinese came, and uh, since they are from Khan area, every household, every people, uh, it's a, a common thing to have uh, weapons, you know, like guns and all that. And they started, the Chinese started came and asking about them, that they started confiscating, you can't keep them, stuff like that. Okay, then, uh, so uh, they kind of uh, came, to, came to realize that the Chinese are not keeping to their words now and they have started harassing them and then turn by turn, step by step, the Tibetans they started to have uh, uh, what do you call, uh, feelings towards the Chinese. They started raising their voice against them and then all these uh, things happened.